This right here is a 13S 48 volt battery, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make it safe to use with an e-bike. First order of business is checking to see if all the cells have voltage. I've already checked this one and they're all in working order. Now I have this BMS here. BMS stands for battery management system and it basically just keeps all the cells balanced and prevents them from overcharging and discharging. There are 14 wires coming out of the BMS and each one connects to a spot in the battery. This black one right here connects to the negative side of the battery. I'm going to remove the board because it looks ugly. Oh fuck. Ooh, cool smoke. We've got the blank battery. Let's solder on the wires. Wow, that's quick. The negative lead will just connect right here and we'll just make our way down the battery. All right, we're finished. Oh, and by the way, this cool little soldering iron was sent to me by Secure Solder. They make battery powered soldering irons, which I found pretty cool. I've just connected a LiPo to this one. Let's see what the soldering iron's got. Let's add the second thick wire. The BMS is usually used to keep the battery from over discharging, but we're just gonna bypass that feature because I want maximum amps. All right, let's test this battery in the most stupid way possible. Wow. Okay, that's got some power. One more. That is so cool. All right, it looks like a total mess of wires right now, and it's because it is. The way I have this wire is right here is a negative lead and a positive lead. I've set it up so these two wires charge the battery. These two will discharge the battery as fast as they can with absolutely no regard to safety. And that's just required if you're not willing to spend money on an expensive BMS. Tune in next time when I shove 96 volts into this 36 volt e-bike and try to break the land speed record for dumbass bike go vroom. E.